SMT Nation, what's going on? Glad to have you guys here for this edition of the channel. And we did some NPERF testing. If you enjoy this type of testing, like these videos, please do rate it. Let me know what you think of the testing down in the comment section as I'm going over the results. And then, of course, subscribe for more content if you like what you see. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. All right, so what I did was I tested on the same exact device, the iPhone 12. I've got the three SIMs on there. I ran uh, the NPERF testing, the full test, for each of the big three carriers. I started with T-Mobile. You'll see the timestamp in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, it was at 11 a.m. So I did T-Mobile, then I did AT&T, and then Verizon. So I'm not really too familiar with this app. I just started using it. I've been pushed by a lot of, you know, um, viewers and subscribers to try this app, and I like it. I kind of like the dynamic of it testing different apps and different browsing and features and video, you know, just to overall quality of performance from the networks. So uh, I ran it here, and you'll see that it is connecting to the 4G LTE T-Mobile network, which is actually a Sprint site. And uh, there's your, your results, 37.6 megabits on the down with an average of 28, 10 megabits on the up with an average of eight and a half, and then the latency around 91 milliseconds. I'm not sure why, but the NPERF latencies are really high, much higher than anything I see from fast.com or the Ookla speed test. But anyways, I think the big thing here is the score, which NPERF has its own rating system. I'm not really sure how they compile those points, but uh, a combination of, of everything I'm assuming. So the browsing percentage came in at 78, and the video streaming performance rate came in at just under 25%. So that's really low. That's really bad. In my eyes, I think that's unacceptable. So not a good test from them. The browsing seems fine. I, I don't think anybody would notice anything weird about that rating or whatever. So I went ahead and did that for each of the carriers. Let's slide over to the AT&T test, which I did right after. You'll see it is also connected to the LT network, and it says AT&T Mobility. 131 down for the average, it was 70, and then 17 for the up with an average of 16, so that's pretty consistent. Latency at 132. I'm not sure why the latencies are like that on this app, but uh, a, an endpoint score of 73, with browsing at 74%, streaming at almost 82%. So the browsing, just slightly under T-Mobile's, and then the streaming well above T-Mobile's, right? So if you're watching videos and stuff like that, that rating needs to be high uh, to kind of judge a good performance. And the last one I did was Verizon. And this one was 194 down, 41 up. The average down was 133, and the average up was 37, and 84 millisecond ping. Uh, if anybody out there knows why the latencies on the NPERF is so high, I'd love to know. I'm just curious. But uh, let me know. Comment below. All right, so browsing almost 82% and then the streaming at 88%. So those are really high scores. So the uh, the quality of the networking, I think, is really important. I think this goes to show you that this app, this NPERF, I think has some really nice metrics to it. I think it's got some cool things because in my experience, I think this is actually pretty accurate. At, you know, at the, at, my, at, at the SMT headquarters, T-Mobile does not do very well at all. The performance is really bad. And then Verizon's is really good, very excellent, and, and AT&T's is good too. So this reflects it. I want to know if anybody out there has been using the MPERF app. First of all, can you explain to me what's going on with that latency? What's up with that? Or is this just me? Also, what do you think of it as an app, actually? What it measures and how it measures do you guys find it reliable? Do you want to see me test more with it? Or should I stick to like Ookla or whatever else? I'm just curious, but it seems to be accurate when it comes to the, like, you know, when I was watching the testing, it goes to Amazon, it goes to Facebook, you know, it goes to like Wikipedia when it's testing browsing, it opens up like a Zoom. It does a lot of stuff with that task and it takes like a full minute to run the gamut of testing. So I find it interesting. I kind of like it. I think it's meaningful and I think it has a purpose. What do you guys think about me making a switch full time to this? Do you like it? Should I continue with the traditional testing? And then let me know what you think of the results. Thank you for watching. If you appreciate this video, give it a like and share it to all your socials. Thanks so much. Check out the stuff going on with the channel. Links in the description box, the Patreon page, at Sneetech Twitter handle, my email address. And of course, um, you know, subscribe if it's your first time here and you like this video and you want more. 
from the SMT. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. That's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.